I'm Christian with Vision Interactive here at the Dallas Digital Summit 2015 with Mel Carson. Thanks so much for being with us. Absolute pleasure. And can you tell us just a little bit about what you do? And Well, I'm here uh, as Majestic's US brand ambassador. As you can tell from my accent, I am not from around these here parts. Uh, I'm from England, but I actually live in Seattle. So I travel to a lot of these conferences and do a lot of the speaking and kind of business development and stuff like that. And what are you working on now that you want to talk to us about today? Well, uh, part of my role is to help broaden the audience for Majestic. I mean, it used to be called Majestic SEO traditionally because it was for SEOs. But since I came on board kind of two or three years ago, I was like, well, I'm not a technical SEO and, and most SEOs use Majestic anyway. How can we use this fantastic plethora of link data to help other marketers and, and digital aficionados. And so I've been spending a lot of time talking to PR professionals about how to use link data to plan PR campaigns. I mean, you throw a YouTube video into Majestic, you'll be able to download all the links and find, you know, be able to build a media list. Um, talking to companies about how to verify really how influential uh, so-called influencers are. So you might, they might have a whole bunch of Twitter followers and all that kind of caper, but you know, do they have a blog? Do they have a website that's got a ton of links to it that are authoritative? So really my, my role with, with Majestic as a client and, and as their ambassador is to try and broaden the audience and get people to think more creatively about how to use link data. Very interesting. And um, do you see this growing in 2016 and beyond? Yeah, because f- finally we're starting to do deals with, with, with companies uh, via our API that is seeing uh, more of an uptick and uh, more of an interest, not just from the SEO perspective, but for you know uh, planning and measuring content marketing campaigns. So you create a great piece of content, you stick it on a web page on your site, how many links came into it? Or did your competitors create some great piece of content? How many links came into their site? Did you do better than they did? In the planning phases, you know, you, you, you're able to build a media list of influencers and bloggers that maybe wrote about that piece of content. And you're able to build that, you know, you're able to look at that content, but also look at what people wrote about it to figure out what was good about it, what was bad about it, and how can you differentiate and pivot around what they've done and make your content even better. Sounds like a great tool. Anything else you'd like to promote or talk about? Uh, Not really, other than, you know, we've been hearing a lot at this conference that although we're digital marketers and everything's all about metrics and, and numbers and online, I really see in 2016 people getting more more down with uh, putting the people power back into marketing, not just you know realizing that those end consumers are more than just a pixel, more than just a cookie, but they're actually real people. There's a number of presenters been talking about um, how uh, putting the experience back into marketing, and actually maybe going back to old school. Mark Cuban was talking old school marketing talking about the experience that people are actually having rather than just treating them like a number so I think that you know you're gonna see a lot more of that and frankly as a digital marketer of 15 years standing I'm getting a bit bored of getting down dirty with the metrics I want to get out and meet people more and create real offline experiences that bring people online later through you know following social media accounts and and really helping brands understand the power that they have to cross that digital divide between online and offline and really excite and delight their customers. Some great insights. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me.